are my views on climate change. Okay. First of all, today, as you can see, it's a wonderful climate around us. It's very comfortable. Not too hot, not too cold. It's okay. See, my views about climate change is, I think it's, it's similar to most of the people that you would come across because there is no need to be unnecessarily sound, really special and technical. You can see that every year our climate is changing. Like, uh, for example, Bangladesh, during the month of November, December, it was, the weather was pretty cool and normally the average temperature would be around 13, 14 centigrade every day, Celsius every day. And today what we see is, it is very rare, on most of the occasions it's above 20 degrees Celsius. So I think it's a very obvious case of climate change. And even a couple of weeks back, I had an extensive uh, tour in the Middle East. And my friends in the Middle East, they were telling me that uh, they are really surprised to see that there is regular precipitation during night time. And it can be considered to be medium uh, rainfall. And they were also saying that they are very sure that it's not because of the artificial plantation or the vegetation that the Middle East governments have taken, uh, the projects that they have taken into hand. It's not because of that. Rather, it's a very, very clear case of uh, uh, climate change. Coming back to Bangladesh, uh, our... Uh, what you call it, besides the overall temperature change, the climate change has also taken toll on to other uh, sectors also, like uh, the river, the water bodies that we have. I think uh, there is an overall rise of uh, water level, sea water level in Bangladesh, and gradually a lot of land is going under water. And uh, as you know, that our country is not really focused on siltation management. Uh, so the depth of the riverbeds, all those things are also going down. And actually, out of the whole world, out of so many countries, Bangladesh plays a very small role in climate change. But then again, of course, I feel that if we can go for greener industry, more environmental friendly products, then of course, maybe climate change can be reduced. Uh, today, all the products and all the goods that we use, which actually pollute our environment and as a result, which results into uh, climate change, there are alternative technologies where you can have uh, products which would not emit, which would not pollute and uh, with that you can reduce climate change. But the problem is it's a question of market, there is a question of demand and supply. For example, in Bangladesh, if you, let's say, if you come up with a technology where you're going to make an uh, air conditioner or an air cooler, which will not pollute the environment, the cost of that technology would be so high, so high, that there, would, there wouldn't be any supply in the market. As that there wouldn't be any demand in the market. There would be supply, but there wouldn't be any demand. So, it's a question of, it's a question of, striking uh, balance by which we can come up with uh, products which are on one hand environmentally free and on the other hand uh, financially, commercially and business wise feasible because without uh, striking that balance we can talk about many things about uh, stopping environmental pollution and all that but nothing will happen. And moreover, it's a question of threshold. Maybe you cannot come to a situation where there is zero pollution. There is no such thing. These are all, I would say, utopian concepts. Rather, the real concept would be not to cross the threshold. Okay, there will be, there will be pollution. There will be some, uh, what you call it, climate change maybe. There will be some environmental degradation. But it should be kept within a tolerable limit where the mother nature would be able to contain the whole situation, renew it, sustain it, you know. Uh, all these uh, developed countries who are come up, coming up with this concept that they'll be giving their donation, uh, uh, their 
how would I say their aid and all this based on greener uh, green technology and all that I think these are always very much workable it has to be built within a very very conventional demand supply mechanism environmental products have to be uh, well within the reach of consumers uh, the price level has to be within their con their affordability and uh, these countries, whoever will indulge themselves into environmentally friendly product production, they have to get greater access to bigger markets. It's as simple as that. Okay, thank you very much.